So we're down here editing this video and we realized that our intro that we shot got deleted or didn't save or something happened to it. So we thought we'd give you a little intro now. So what we did is we went back to that creek where we caught some walleyes in and we're going to do a catch and cook. So we figured we'd catch a walleye or two and we'd bring it home, fillet it, show you how to cook it in the microwave. We wanted to show you a quick and easy recipe in the microwave. We ended up catching one that was legal, so we got lucky there. And then the video will pick up from us starting fishing, and then we fish, and then it'll go into cooking the fish. So hope you enjoy. Hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, so we got some minnows, some fatheads. Try that out this time. And just on a little eighth ounce Roadrunner jig here. We'll see how that works. I like to thread mine in the mouth, kind of thread it on there and then come out. They stay on better, seems like, and I get a better hookup. All right. See if there's anything out there still. There we go. What do I got? Oh, I got a smallmouth. Yeah. Ooh. Stay out of the current. Woo. Oh, there he goes. He got off. There we go. Something. Another smally, I think. Mm. Yep. Yeah, a little smally. Pretty. Oh. Yep. There we go. See you, bye. There we go. I think so. They're fighting good, whatever it is. Yeah, I think another smallie. Oh, nope, a little northern. A little northern? Yeah. A little northern this time. Of course, there's a little northern in creeks everywhere. Oh, there's something. Oh, whatever, whatever that was just snapped me off. I'm guessing it was another pike, yeah. Looks like he cut right through that floor roll. Time to go retouch. There we go. What do we got this time? Oh, there's our first walleye. There we go. First walleye. I'm going to go measure him, see what it looks like. All right, so that one was 15, just right on the head. So we got him in our bucket there. Yeah. Are you going to go anywhere else to check the inside? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, what I got hooked up with. That looks like a small mouth. I believe so. Yeah, he's fighting hard. Oh, they're so strong. Oh, another small mouth. There we go, there's something. What are you? Yeah, it looks smally mouth. Small mouth? Yep, yeah, a little small mouth. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I got this time. Oh, there's a little walleye. That one is not 15 inches. So he's going to have to go back. Yeah, babe. Stop it. Just beautiful little walleye. Let's get him back. Did you say you caught a crappie? Oh, you saw one. Huh? Yeah? Oh. So he saw a crappie. All right, now we're inside. I took and I cleaned up the Fillets, rinsed them off real good, and now what I'm going to do is you want to take, you want to make sure that they're pat dried real good. So after you're done with that, Easton's going to show you what to do now. What are I'm you going to do, Easton? Take the butter and butter the sides and the bottom of this microwavable pan. Okay, why don't you do that? Make sure those are nice and neat. Choose your finger. All right, so Easton's got that done. Now we're gonna take Old Bay on one and lemon pepper on the other. So the first thing you do is you take, where you're gonna put your Old Bay one, we're gonna season this butter that we just put down. Like that, and then the other side we'll do the lemon pepper. Like so. And we like the lemon pepper a little more than the Old Bay, but they both taste good. All right, so now what he's going to do is he's going to take these fillets, whoo, take these fillets, and he's going to put butter on each side. So I'll just put the butter on them. Okay. Flip it over. I'm going to put it this So way. now he's putting that one down. That's the lemon pepper side. He's putting the butter down right on that seasoning. He's going to do the same with the top side now. 
the other side. And then we'll do the same with this fillet. And then we'll just season the top of them. Okay. Go on the top again. Make sure you get the butter on all the all the meat. All right, now Easton's done with that. And then you take and you just season the top of it. That's our Old Bay one. And our lemon pepper. Okay. See that? Now he's going to take and put saran wrap over this and then pop a couple holes in it. Saran wraps tight on top. some holes in it to vent it. Should be good. All right, now we're going to come down to the microwave. Put it in there, Easton. So we're going to go uh, cook time. Two minutes. 45 seconds on high, boom. And we'll see what happens. Well, we know what happens. It turns out spectacular, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Very good. How's it smelling? Great. Great. Kitty, Angel. Hot mix, we just need a little syrup. All right, two minutes, 45 seconds later. Very important, hot mix, because yeah. that bowl will be hot. Peel back the thing. Oh, hot. <laughs> yep, careful of the steam. That's hot when it comes out too. And there you go. It's like two perfectly broiled fish. Nice and flaky. Look at that. Two minutes, 45 seconds, easy cleanup. I'm gonna try some of this. That's the lemon pepper one. Awesome. What do you think, bud? I don't already burn, know it's gonna taste don't good. Don't burn your face off. I'm gonna try the Old Bay one. Yep. Lemon pepper is definitely better, but. So, there you go. I mean, never would've thought fish in the microwave uh, we learned it from a different YouTube cha channel. The guy did it. Um, and it's awesome. It's quick, easy. Cleanup is easy and it tastes phenomenal. You can use any spice you want, anything like that. This is what we prefer. Get creative with it. Uh, you know, yeah, get creative with it. And thanks for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of stuff. And we'll see you next time.